So I'm walking with this man to the dean. The dean was like, uh, what's up? So I'm, I'm like, hi. I look to the left. I'm making sure she's not looking at me. His back's turned towards me. What a good everybody. Y'all already know it's your boy Prince Beck, and today we're with another banger video as I told you guys before. I asked y'all a long time ago what y'all wanted. Y'all said y'all wanted a story time about when I had to run, run, run away from the dean. So hey man, we're about to get it. Let's go. Yes, sir. And if you're new to my channel, leave a like. Subscribe as well. Comment below. Favorite part. Let's get it. Okay, so um it started 10th grade. For y'all who don't know, I used to always dance. So me and my friend, me and my brother, my friend Corey, I'm pretty sure y'all y'all seen Corey before. I am hot, by the way, so give me a few seconds. So me and my brother, me and my brother, Corey, Derek, and Eric. So we all used to dance at Edgewater High School. And with dancing, we used to always use the excuse of we were dancing or preparing for a show to skip classes. And particularly on this, on this particular day, I was absent from my history class. I had like 13 missing days in a row. And I mean, when I tell you she did not like me anymore, bro, it was to the point where if I came in that class, it was done for me. So I used to always skip that class. So one day, um, me and Corey were walking past the hallway, like literally past her class. So I'm literally ducking as I walk under her door so I can get out the hallway. I kid you not, we had an old teacher for freshmen freshman seminar type teacher he literally said yo becky where are you going i said i'm going to class he said he said no you're not he said your class is over there and he, and he pointed straight to my teacher bro i kid you not this man pointed straight to my teacher's classroom so at this point my heart pounded i'm like bro if i walk in there she's gonna write me up if i go to the dean they're gonna write me up because when he called me, it was about 15 minutes before the bell rung. So there's no such thing getting there's no such thing as getting the tardy pass when you already missed about 25, 30 minutes of class. So he said, you either go in there or you go to the dean. So I looked at her and I'm like, you know, it's either she called my parents in front of my in front of my um classmates or I take a chance of going to the dean. So I was like, I right, I'm gonna go to the dean. So I'm walking with this man to the dean. The dean was like, uh, what's up? So I'm, I'm like, hi. And my um, Mr. Colgan, our teacher, he was like, oh, well, you need to give him a tardy pass or something because he's late to his class. And he was like, you're late. He looked at the time. He was like, you're late. It's about 10 minutes left. You know what? Come with me. I'm going to write you up. So I'm like, no. Wait, no. Let's go back. We're going back to you, Corey. Tell me how when this man told me to come with him, the teacher, Mr. Colgan. This man, Corey, instead of trying to defend me, talking about some, hey, um, he was actually going to a class. This man, Corey, gonna literally look at me, bro, and walk out the hallway. And I'm like, it be your own boys, man. I'm like, that's tough. So as I was saying, as I'm walking alone, when I came there with a person, but I was the only one taken, we're going to the office. So he's walking and talking to me, talking about some, why were you late? And I was like, I came from gym and stuff. So you already know, he knew it was some, it was some bull. So he wasn't even listening to it. We get to the, the hallways and right before we get to, right before we get to his office, a teacher, a teacher needed some help on something. I was like, yes. Yeah. So we're, pro we're we're prolonging it because usually, usually the deans were so chill. If you weren't a kid, I was on the radar, and I wasn't a kid. I was on the radar. I'm the the normal nice kids that you barely see in the office. If you see me in the office, it's because I'm just in there for something good. I'm not in there for nothing bad. So we're um. He tells me he says while I'm talking to the teacher, you go stand behind. You, you go stand in that wall. So I'm standing on the wall and peep that right behind me was a stair a stairwell so i'm thinking to myself like it's either getting in trouble by my dad for getting written up and finding out that i missed 13 days in the class or it's either run and see if i can make it at least one more day i just wanted to make it one more day so he's talking to her right and i'm thinking to myself i'm like they got cameras 
this school is known for actually for actually using their cameras. Like they actually use their cameras. Like Edgewater did not play. They they, they use their cameras. So I'm like, should I even go? So I'm kind of scared. Peep, I'm scared. But I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna do it. So as he's talking to her, I'm literally inching. I'm inching to the right. I'm slowly moving. I'm like, say less. I look to the left. I'm making sure she's not looking at me. His back's turned towards me. Part two next week. Boy, are you good?